In recent years, parents have decided that immunizations are even more stressful than they were 10 or 15 years ago when nurses were preparing to give infants their first set of immunizations. With the current number of immunizations that an infant can receive at their two-month visit, parents become even more stressed. This video will show you how the nurse not only talks about the need for the different immunizations, but also provides some education related to comfort measures that parents can give their infants after their immunizations. Please watch the video and see how the nurse interacts with this parent who is very anxious about the number of immunizations her infant is supposed to receive. And also watch the teaching that is given related to administering acetaminophen or ibuprofen to decrease the amount of pain that the infant will receive. It's very important to help parents feel like they have the ability to give their infant comfort after their immunizations. It's also very important for nurses to be able to respond to questions related to persons who are questioning all immunizations or some immunizations in a non-threatening response. Hello, Jasmine. I'm Erin. I'm the nurse who will be giving the shots to your baby, Liam. Where is Liam? Oh, my mom's changing his diaper. Oh, okay. Um, for two-month-olds, uh, we usually give them uh, DTaP, uh, the Hib vaccine, polio vaccine, pneumococcal vaccines, and two additional shots, uh, the rotavirus vaccine, and second hepatitis B vaccine. Um, and I will have you sign some of these forms, um, but we can fill those out later. Um, do you have any questions? Have you heard or read anything about childhood shots? Uh, no, that that is a lot of shots. Um, are you sure he needs all of these? Uh, why don't why don't we just say two of them now and we'll come back later um, for the others? Is is cost a concern? Because if not, I can always check with your insurance company, make oh, sure that they cover it. No, no, no. I uh, I checked with my insurance. It covers it. I just that's a lot of shots. Um, <laughs> I just don't want to hurt him. The good news is, is that we are one of the first clinics that offer six vaccines in one shot. They've been doing it over in Europe for about six years now. And we also give the baby ibuprofen to help ease their pain a bit. S six shots mm -hmm. in one needle. There must be a terribly big needle. Oh, no, the, the needle and the syringe are the usual size. It's a fairly recent development and one that we are all very grateful for. <laughs> um, are you sure he needs all of these? I thought polio didn't exist anymore. And my friend told me about this article she was reading online that said that these vaccines can cause cancer in children. And there's a lot of cancer in children nowadays. I, I'm sorry to say, but polio is more common now than it was 20 years ago. So because of that, parents are scared to vaccinate their kids. And because of that, um, the children are being exposed to diseases that they thought were once eradicated. And there have been few outbreaks of whooping cough. Um, about six years ago, 48,000 people were diagnosed with whooping cough. And um, the problem with whooping cough is that it can last up to 10 weeks. So if a baby has a really bad cough, they might need to be hospitalized. Oh. Oh. Um, um, what about seizures? I heard that these vaccines can cause epilepsy. Um, I'll see what the research says. Um, a seizure is a possible but rare side effect to any vaccine. Um, and one seizure is not the same as epilepsy. Um, let me look it up. Oh, uh, this study of almost 8,000 infants reports 17 had seizures related to a uh, fever after their vaccination. The seizure was related to the fever, and we know that some babies run a different temperature depending on illness and injection. Um, it looks like the good news is that the infants who received their shots had a lower rate of epilepsy than those who did not receive vaccinations. So. Lower rate of epilepsy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You don't read that online. <laughs>
Um, what about uh, sudden infant death syndrome? Uh, mm -hmm. I read that vaccines can cause that too, and I, I, I can barely sleep at night. I'm checking on him and make sure he's breathing and if he gets these shots, I might not be able to sleep for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a great deal of research related to SIDS and vaccines over a number of years. None of the research has shown that results, uh, that vaccines are related. Part of the misunderstanding is that babies, when they receive vaccines, are usually at the peak SIDS age. So because of that, a lot of people think that they're related, but as I said, it's really just a coincidence. My sister just had a baby, and she's told me that she checks on the baby at least once per night. It's a, it's a normal thing. I don't have kids, but I'm sure that if I had kids, I would be doing the same thing. Huh. Is, is he going to cry a lot after? Uh, many, but not all babies are a little fussy uh, about 24 hours after the injection. Um, if you like, you can put a cool cloth on the um, injection site to prevent swelling. Um, I'm going to go show you the ibuprofen. Let me go get those real quick. Liam is your only child as of now, right? Uh, Yes, but we plan on having children in a few years. Oh, okay. So for now, you will only need that infant ibuprofen. Um, it's a liquid. I'm going to show you um, the two boxes. So notice that this box says infant and this box says children. The children dosage is a lot higher. So if you give the same amount of the children as the infant, um, it could result in an overdose of the drug for the baby. Wow, that... That's scary. I agree, but it, it's it's pretty easy to tell the difference. Um, and if you're still concerned, you can always put um, you can always carefully measure out the amount of the uh, dosage and put it in the inside the baby's lips, and then they can just suck it down. So let me show you how to use this. Unscrew. And you're just gonna stick this in. You flip it. All right, and um, don't put the uh, the medicine in a uh, in water or uh, formula. The um, the medicine can stick to the side of the bottle, and the full amount will not be given. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll sign your papers. <laughs> I just hope he'll be able to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs>